Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vaporesso Pod Stick. This product was sent to me for the purpose of the review. Let's go ahead, open it up, and see what it comes with. Inside of the package, you are going to get the Pod Stick with one pre installed 1.3 ohm coil. You're also going to get an additional pod with a 0.6 ohm coil inside. You're going to get this little filling bottle for your e-liquid. You'll also get a micro USB charging cable, a Vaporesso pod stick kit user manual, and some warranty information. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the pod. And here is the pod stick. So the pod stick dimensions are going to be 18 by 22 by 111 millimeters. The pod capacity is going to be 2 milliliter capacity. And as I previously stated, you're going to receive two pods. One of them is going to have a 1.3 ohm C cell rated 7 to 12.5 watts. And then a 0.6 ohm meshed rated 16 to 22 watts. The battery capacity on this is going to be 900 milliamp hours. It does have a battery indicator that indicates 20%, 40%, 60%, and 80 to and 100%. So each one of these is going to be 20%. So when it's full, all of these five lights will be lit up. And then as the battery drains, each indicator will go out to indicate that the battery is draining. The charging current on this is going to be one amp and the material is going to be plastic and aluminum. So the top and the bottom, the pod of course is made out of plastic. And then this body right here is made out of aluminum. You do have your little push to fire button here on the front. And that's also going to be where you turn on the device. It's going to be five clicks on, five clicks off. Let's go ahead, remove the pod first here so you can take a look at at that. Let's see if we can zoom in on that pod. Maybe brighten it up a little bit here. And here is the 2ml capacity pod. Taking a look at the bottom, there is a little peel off sticker that protects the contacts for when it's installed. To fill this pod, it's really simple. You do have a little mouthpiece top here. It's non-removable. It is all molded as one piece but to fill it you're simply gonna find this little arrow and push back and that's gonna expose the press to fill port so you're gonna go ahead and take your e-liquid bottle and you're just gonna go ahead and press that little nozzle down and squeeze so as you're pressing down and squeezing you'll see that the pod is filling up here now it is a little dark and hard to see, so you do want to kind of hold it up to the light to be able to see when you're getting up to that fill line. We're just going to wipe off the top because we did get a little droplet of e-liquid. But one thing I really do like about it being at the top is that if you do overfill or spill, you don't have to worry about it coming out and getting into the battery of the device because it is on the top. Then you just go ahead and click that back and let that soak for 5 to 10 minutes. So you definitely want to let that coil saturate five to ten minutes before you start using it. Now for the device we can go ahead and grab that and I will say the battery is really light. So go ahead and click five times and you're going to see some flashing there. We we'll go ahead and insert the pod and it will flash. The pod stick also has three different power adjustments. So if you want to change your power adjustment it's three clicks of the fire button. One, two, three and it will flash a different color. So red is going to be low, blue is going to be medium, and green is going to be high. So right now it is on blue. Press three times again. We cycle to red three times again, and we cycle back to green. So they don't say in the manual what the voltage output is for each mode. So I really, all they're calling it is low, medium, and high. So it's one of those devices where you just adjust to taste. So yeah, that's the Vaporesso pod stick. Let's go back up top, have a vape on it, and I'll give you my thoughts. And that was an up-close look at the Vaporesso Pod Stick. So let's get right into the pros first. 
first pro on this device is going to be the fit and finish. Everything fits together really nicely. The finish on the device is really nice and sleek. I really like this silver and black combo with the little gold tinted button. I just think it looks really nice and sleek. I like the shape of it, the slimness of it. Everything about this device is really appealing to the eye as far as for me. Now that's very subjective, but for me, I think it's very nice looking. I also like the fact that the shape of the device makes this very easy to carry around with you. While it is a bit longer, it is very lightweight and easy to put in a shirt pocket or a purse or something like that. It's not too large. The next pro on this is going to be that it's adjustable. So you have adjustable power strengths. Now the one thing I didn't like was that in the manual it just said high, medium, and low and didn't give us a voltage. So I'm not really sure of the different voltage put out on the device, but I do like that you can kind of adjust to taste especially since because the next pro is going to be the two coils that they include with this kit. They include the mouth to lung C cell coil and the direct to lung or very loose mouth to lung mesh coil head. I definitely find with the mesh coil head, I like to use this on the power setting high and on the C cell coil head, I'm happy with it at the low power setting or the medium power setting. I've mostly been using the C-cell at medium power setting, but at the high power setting with the C-cell coil, I find it just gets too warm and I'm always afraid of like getting a dry hit. With the mesh coil, I never have that problem. The next pro on those coils is going to be with the C-cell, it's gonna be more longevity but the flavor is kind of muted. With ceramic cell coils, now Vaporesso does a really good job on their ceramic cell coils in my opinion because they do last a lot longer, but one of the downsides of that is on this particular device, the C cell coil that they're using, lighter note e-liquids tend to get lost. So like bakeries and creams, tend to completely get lost on this pod and you really want to use like really pungent strong fruity flavors menthols tobaccos things that are really strong flavored and then that comes through just fine on the sea cell but i vape a lot of bakeries and creams custards and those really don't come off very well in a sea cell coil so while they last longer the flavor, you know, can be kind of muted or turned down on it. Now with the mesh coil, you get a big bump in flavor, but I also find those don't last as long, though those still do last a pretty good amount of time, just not as long as the sea cell coils. Also with the mesh, like I said, it's more of a direct to lung or very loose mouth to lung to where the sea soil to where the C cell is a very tight mouth to lung. So right now I believe I have the C cell in here. I'll go ahead and show you the vape production. I lied, I have no, I think I have the mouth to lung. Oh boy, yeah, that's okay. This is the mesh, I lied to you. I had to just wait for a minute and taste the flavor. So this is the mesh coil head that I currently have in it. So this is gonna be a loose mouth to lung or a direct lung. Um, it's gonna be a very tight, restricted direct lung and that's how I've been using the mesh coil is a very restricted direct lung. So I'll show you that again. And vaping that on the high setting, it is still kind of a cooler vape. It doesn't really get hot to me unless I'm chain vaping it. So it is a little bit on the cooler side, but it's really flavorful and saturated. I really like the mesh coil, especially the restricted direct to lung. And of course you could also do a loose mouth to lung on this. Now this is a push to fire, which for me is another pro. Again, that's subjective. I like devices that are five clicks, five clicks on and off because then I can store them and I don't have to worry about the device accidentally firing versus when you're using a draw activated. Some Sometimes draw activateds can auto fire when they're in your 
purse or pocket. So I always like devices that you can turn off and that are pushed to fire because you never have to worry about something messing up the auto draw mechanism in it. So now let's go ahead and put in the mouth to lung C-cell pod. So here's the mouth to lung C-cell pod. And with the sea cell, also you kind of got to do two or three puffs just to get it warmed up. So I always find when I'm doing this tight mouth to lung type draw, I like to take a couple draws at a time. And the nice thing is I'm just holding down that button. It does have a 10 second cutoff. So pretty good vapor production once you get the coil warmed up. The first couple puffs are going to be cool. The coil is cold. The e-liquid's more thick. So it'll take a little bit. But once you start puffing on it, you're going to start seeing more vapor production. Again, the flavor isn't as good. It's a little more toned down. Now, to counter that, you can use like really pungent fruity flavors, menthols, things like that. And then it's not as noticeable. Uh, one of the big things I do like about the sea cell and the mouth to lung is it's a nice tight mouth to lung. So it mimics the draw on a cigarette. So if you're somebody that's just recently quit smoking, this is a good pod. The sea cell here is really good if you're just starting to quit smoking and you like that nice tight restricted draw that you get from a cigarette. Or even if you're a seasoned vapor and you find that you still like that tight mouth to lung draw, this one definitely gives that. Now the next pro on this is going to be the battery capacity. The battery is 900 milliamp hours. Now that's not the largest battery out there, but it is pretty sufficient. I find that I can get a half a day to a whole day of vaping time on this device. A half a day if I'm using the mesh and I'm using it on high, I just find that I for some reason go through the battery more of course part of that is I'm drawing more voltage from the battery and then of course when I'm using the mouth to lung I also tend to use a higher milligram nicotine when I'm using the mouth to lung so I'm getting more nicotine in smaller number of hits off the device so I don't need to use it as much as well as I'm not vaping it on high so I'm also getting more battery time that way as well so half the day if you're using the mesh and a full day if you're using the mouth to lung C cell coil is what I found for me. The next pro about this is going to be the battery indicator. You do have five battery indicators so it lets you know real time where your battery is at and I find that when it gets down to two you better charge it because you don't have much time after that. The first two lights it'll take a long time for those two lights to go out but then once you get to three and then two, when you only have two lights left, the remaining percentage of that battery goes really fast. But I do like that you have five lights there. Gives you a really good idea of where your battery is out. Now let's talk about things I don't like about the pod stick. Well, the only thing that I don't like about the pod stick is how dark the pods are. Because of the way it's designed, I really have to, even holding this up to the light, it's kind of different, difficult to see where your e-liquid level is. So you actually have to remove it and then you can really see. Down here, once you've got light passing through, it's much easier to see it. So you do have to remove the pod to really be able to see what your e-liquid level is. Not a big thing, but how they could have fixed that would be putting little cutout dips on either side on the device. So it could have just been something as simple as a little like U-shaped dip on this side and a U-shaped dip on this side to let the light pass through the bottom portion of the pod and you would be able to see your e-liquid level much much easier but that's the only thing I like don't like about this pod system and that's not really a deal breaker it's not completely difficult to see it so that's my thoughts on the Vaporesso pod stick if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not already click that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye bye